terrorizing the normally sleepy this streets of Salem. This crude drawing of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders Leading over the past few weeks. police to refer to the murderer weeks. as the Bell Killer. We spoke with a public relations officer. Authorities are asking anyone with any leads to contact this the SPD's anonymous tip line. This picture of a bell, for the calling part, the police have yet to attach no any meaning or significance to it, has become synonymous and with no the hysteria surrounding these murders. You're saying there are no leads? No leads at all? Grow up on the streets. You start thinking you're invincible. Nothing can touch you. You never really lose. Go to arrest some freak, find out you aren't as invincible as you thought. Time to make it official. Ah, it hurts! You steal my car, you pay the price. Ah. Rome Nogano, you're under arrest for the assault and battery of Vincent Coulter. Guilty on two counts of grand theft auto. On the indictment of burglary, grand larceny, and assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Let me take it. <laughs> I can't have my sister marrying some bum, right? They do. Hell yeah, I do. Julia. Stay with me, you hear me? Julia. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Your family wore felonies like badges of honor. Now you think this new badge covers all that up? You're a fucking criminal. You need to slow down, man, all right? This is crazy. I didn't know better. So you actually want to die. Turn around. You're under arrest. in my body, then maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wake up. Come on. Someone had to hear that glass shatter.
Ronan? I can't believe it. I can't believe I found you. Oh my god. Julia. I thought I'd never see you again. You look good. <laughs> I look better. God, I've missed you. I would give anything to be there with you. For us to be together again, but... But what? No. Oh, no, no, not again. Not you. If you're not here, where are you? It's the other side of the bridge. Bridge? What, what bridge? Where you are is a prison, or a bridge. It all depends on how you see it. Either way, where you are isn't safe. Do you hear me? We need to get you across the bridge. You need to move on. Move on? Is that where you are? Don't worry about me. Something about your life isn't finished yet. We don't have much time. Think. What about your life feels unresolved? I don't know. <laughs> Figure that out. Now go. No. Julia, you left me once and it destroyed me. Please, please don't leave me again. We'll see each other again, love. Just save yourself. No, no, no Julia! Don't leave me, Julia! Damn it! Hello? There's a man in the street outside the Regal Apartments bleeding. He's been shot. Send an ambulance. He's not breathing. My friend says he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. There's broken glass everywhere and a lot of oh, blood. Man. This is bad. Yeah, I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Lady, please! Damn it. Hey, you! Hey, can you hear me? Come back! Hey, why did you run? It gets old, giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Running through walls, making things appear. You, you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works then. <laughs> works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts, and maybe you won't get trapped here. Gifts? Your strengths in life are stronger in death. They become powers here. Some power is unique, some common. Possession, influencing people, manipulating the more fragile of ghostly objects to appear or disappear. Strengths become abilities. Huh. The door just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I thought I'd be able to walk through everything. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem have consecrated save through an opening an open drawer or a window but once inside walls and doors hold no power over us you'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow it will all seem logical in due time who are you looks like you've been here a while me i'm just someone like you but hear me when i say this is no playground you can rob yourself of your future or others can do it for you. No, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I rob my own future? You're here to resolve something. You don't resolve it, you don't leave. Don't worry, that's pretty common. Common? That's crazy. What do you mean, others can steal my future? Demons. They were once like us, but lost themselves. They can never move on now, and exist only to consume those lingering here. Those like us. So, I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. That's the way I can get out of here. Well, best of luck to you. 
Wait, 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 wait. There's more I need to know. Holy shit. Be careful out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Weird. Seeing your own body lying on the street. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real and which is the reflection. Great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup? Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sir? Hey, 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 Baxter, hey! Hey, just get back to taking them statements. Come on. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene, but it is my case. But tomorrow it'll be my case, and the next day. Until we catch him. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is. Yeah, well. Take all the time you need, LT. I lost count of the times I wished you were dead. Do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad. See what they've learned. Did you, did you see the man in the hood? Yes. No, I saw him. He killed that man in the street. Let me see. Look at all these people. He's got family. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan. Unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer into a building. Ronan responds. Disregards orders for backup. Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then, bam, 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 bam. You really Seven to the chest. You really point have... blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> you ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, you live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. Yeah, I saw this. That man in the hood. Outside. Looking up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. The killer came here for a reason. But what was it? The apartment up there must have some clues. Except that's my way in, and it's closed. Fantastic. Here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Hey, excuse me. Do I need to wait for someone to open a door every time I want to go inside? Yeah, any buildings that were consecrated can be a bit tricky getting into, but once you're inside, it's smooth sailing. 
Same goes for getting out. Open doors, windows, whatever. It's all fair game. How many buildings are like this? Around here? Pretty much all of them. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Thanks. Come back. Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. All right, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. that little girl that lives here if she turns up you come find me got it Even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. Should get this photo to Rex for that Amber Alert. How Father, are you? do you have anywhere that I could stay just for a little oh, while? Of course, dear. The church is always here to help. Go on, no. Gun me down on the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. Face it, 
Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter, he isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but you don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. sanctuary, a place where nothing bad can touch you, but you can never escape the questions. They follow you everywhere. about the church and the apartment. Father, do you have anywhere that I could stay just for a little oh, while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here now. I think we have an old adage you can stay in for as long as you like. There's one promise I never regretted. Must be up there. Everyone thinks they are. There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? When I get through to her. to dump your unfinished business Hold on. on me. Now, I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... Wait a minute. You, you can see me? And hear me? <gasps> Holy shit. You're a medium. Well, I ain't, ain't I the luckiest guy in the world? I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you anything. You owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you is horrible. You... 
You saved my life, so what do you want? I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place. So why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Looking for your mom? What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. Respectable living? Yeah. Hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book. And it's in her handwriting. Bell killer book. If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? So where's your mom, kid? Probably... dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word. Never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? Hmm. I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I, I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is? Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just said. Why don't you live there? Because of people like you always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom, but I can't live in one place for too long or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you, and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem, too. No way. Uh, don't get me wrong. You saved my life, and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but... Your problems are your problems, and mine are mine. There they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Whoa, wait a minute. Don't go yet. Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead. I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down. Even so soon, dear. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, amateur.
Damn it. Now what? Where'd she go, huh? Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. Yeah. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. <laughs> She'll blend in well there. Know her mother worked for the police? <laughs> Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. Time to head back to the station. Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. And I was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood. Hey, Baxter. You still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? <sighs> yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. 
Not for long. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. Piece of cake. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. Speed up, girl. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheer here. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, uh, hey, kid. Eat these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or don't think anything creepy. This doesn't make us even. Okay, man, get out. I got it. Sickness she carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. <sighs> that was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh. The desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? Looks like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. You never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random and related. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. There must be a latch inside that opens inward. I better tell the girl. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. 
She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop, you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, go, go. Wow, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Hey, you can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. All right, listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not gonna say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and... You need a detective. The last case. Ashland Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I, I don't know. I, ge I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer. The cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. <laughs> We? Oh, come we. on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. Seriously? And Ronan is better? Why not your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? Oh, we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I I could do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet you uh, there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. If it was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Oh, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Who? Great. Another freaky ghost chick is shadowing me. Sorry it's been so long, Julia.
makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you, and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Just leave it to me. about the girl who washed up here this thing floated down the river by her body I think it ended up in the bushes over there I need to get up river find out how she her body washed up on shore so she was murdered up river but where miles of banks both sides might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius. It'd be a needle stack. Crawling with ghosts. Or should we just ask her, Sophia? Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. It's her. She's the one in the photo. Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with. Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about this. A small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, she can help all of us. Please. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. On your side, I just want to ask you a few questions. Uh, oh. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit. Just hold on, will ya? This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. Just stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a cop. trying to escape me. You want me to see something? I knew it. The bell killer. Why would he go to all this trouble to kill you this way? Hey. It's okay. You can come out of the water now. It's okay, come on. I'm on your side. I don't know about any contract. Please, just stop. What the hell is this? Contract? What, what, what did he mean by contract? No. 
And this is the memory of your murder. You're too young. You shouldn't see this. I swear I don't know about any contract. Please, just stop. Why are you doing this to me? Who are you? What are you doing? You're him! Oh, no! I don't want to... It's Simba. Stop it! Please, just... Please, just... No. No! He drew on you. His symbol. It must have meant something. I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Oh, you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell killer drowned the girl in the lake and let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is. He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he, he confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. A contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case possible bell killer survivor Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Not again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is there a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. Guess I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Sorry, Juliet. I, um... I got some bad news. I... Don't worry, bro. She already knows. Hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, they 
better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. Okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, kid. You're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right. Just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. Maybe these things on her desk will help us. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. Kiddo, I hate being here and wondering if you're okay. You're all I have left. Just like this girl's friend is all she has left. Sorry. I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris, uh, Iris Campbell. Yes, it looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks, I, I feel better. Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Let's get moving. You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Oh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. <gasps> Fine. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess? Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to. Keep going. Get to Iris's room. No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now, I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! see what our comatose witness has to offer. Maybe in my mom's 
They definitely look familiar. This one means protection. Contract. She still knows. She still knows. Sorry, kid. Maybe we didn't need you after all. What the hell? She booted me out somehow. All right. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. things for like art therapy or something do no blue blue eyes cold as death who had blue eyes and, and death what does that mean blue eyes wolf eyes blue stare his life but paid with her own bell killers going after young girls but what was it what would you see that poor kid her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched but she couldn't return the favor leave us alone Are you okay? It's Rose. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back! <gasps> Who are you? I'm Joy. You don't belong in this place. Orderlies. Crap, I'm so dead! All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her! Come on, she's coming with us. No! You're not taking her! Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Over here, in those shadows there. Coast is clear. Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. Thought I would never see this again. All right. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demon? We did nothing to him. 
He had no reason to go after us the way he did. The way he did? He drowns one girl and burns another? And where have I seen that stake before? That's it. All right, look, look, get Iris to the church, make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later, go. Okay, come on, Iris. All right. Now what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder? Fitting for an investigation about a serial killer. All these murders have whipped this town into a frenzy. Now it all leads here to a gala celebrating a time when Salem found itself swept up in another whirlwind of hysteria. Gather round and bear witness to the righteous proceedings of a trial of a, a, a most heinous nature. Now you, good woman Putnam, you stand accused of the murder of seven of your own children, whom you claim were taken by forces of the this devil. This freak show better give me some answers. I did not do it. My devil spawn of a child is my own accuser. Confess, witch. Confess. Your covenant. A demonic contract with the dark forces. The time is upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem. It is time to pay for your sin. torture devices like this to kill his victims. Why kill them like witches? I'm surprised there's no exhibit for the accusers. It's such an important part of Salem's history. Actually, several artifacts aren't on display yet. We're currently preparing them upstairs in the restoration room. Better to see what else is in here. Joy? I told you to look after Iris. You're not the boss of me. I found a bunch of stuff downstairs. The bell killer is offing his victims as if they're witches. I'm heading upstairs to see what else I can find. Just keep an eye out for security cameras and alarms. Thanks for the tip, but this isn't even my first break-in today. Looks like the right place. Now let's see what these artifacts can tell me about the witch trials. My apologies. It will always belong to you. For shame, Bridget. This shmar of your conversations with the spirit world will surely condemn you as a witch. with odd sensations, centuries old. I'm trying to focus on this killer, but the echoes from these sensations keep interfering, like deaths from the past, pleading to be remembered.
Hey, kid. I, I need you to lift up this painting. It's called The Hanged Witch. It's creepy. Oh. It's the killer symbol. The killer is targeting mediums because he thinks they're witches? That's insane. Who do I know that's interested in mediums? Baxter. And why the hell is Baxter involved in this? He dropped the case when he was demoted. All right, found the killer's symbol. We got a suspect to look into. We're almost there. And not one step closer to finding my mom. Like I said, the world doesn't need another whiner. You know what? Screw you. You don't understand. Don't understand? My wife was murdered three years ago. She got to float up into the white light, and I got stuck here in this place with some bitchy teen. Ugh. Your mom's been missing what? Two, three days? Huh? And I guarantee you, we'll find her. If I fail, if we fail, I'll never get to see Julia again, ever. We won't fail. I don't need a cheerleader. Look, I'm sorry I didn't know about your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we need to act on the information we found. You head off to the church. The church? Where are you going? Baxter's our prime suspect. I need to get over to his apartment and see if I can dig up any skeletons. Probably not a good idea for a fugitive to visit a cop. Fine, I'll meet you later. Cops and criminals get used to red and blue flashing lights. Even after you get numb to them, sometimes they still chill your bones. You can get that feeling that this time, they mean something personal. Thank God you're okay. No, no, Joy, Joy, don't! Damn it. Lieutenant, caught her sneaking up the side staircase. Says she's a friend of the priest. Where's Walter McCauley? Is he all right? Just put her in my car. I want to interview her myself. Did somebody remind Broyles that the door's not going to watch itself? Yes, sir. It's a simple question, please! Take it easy on her. Hey, anybody find Baxter yet? Nope. Into the station, drove by his place, nothing. You know, there's definitely something wrong here. I mean, honestly, have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> Half this stuff feels like a goddamn riddle. I don't know. I just seem so demented. Mental. I gotta find this crime scene before they cart away all the evidence. <laughs> no. 
nothing sacred to this guy. The work of a real monster. stayed at the hospital, she'd still be alive. Don't hold too tight to what's keeping you here. Just remember, this wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. did he do here? Oh, shit. That girl was running away. That's who he's after. Not the rest of us. We have cocktails already. Okay, all right, everyone, let's get this picture. We've got to get to the reception now. Everybody, get the picture. Get there. Let me go. Let me go. He's he's here. Look, you need to back off. He was after Iris. I wonder if there's more evidence in Joy's room. for joy. Damn it. Well, I don't think she's the most ideal roommate. A little rough around the edges, but I'm sure you'll like the room, and in time you'll both get along really well. Don't worry. I can get along with most anyone. Excellent. Well, this is the room. Here we are. Father? What's wrong? Go! Go! <laughs> the killer came here looking for joy, but took out Iris instead. This is a friggin' dead end.
So where's Baxter? If he's not here, he's got some explaining to do. Well, what about you? You see anything? Hmm? Easy, kitty. Easy, easy. It's your old buddy Ronan. What was that? The killer dropped something in the vent. Maybe the cat can help get to it. Thanks for the help. Killer's hideout. I need to get to Judgment House. Do some ghost thing and get me out of this. Come on. Trust me. You're better off this way. The killer was right. after you. How? What happened in there? He didn't suffer. You're lying. He died protecting innocent people. That's all you need to know. He died because of me. Hey. Pleading insanity isn't going to help you much on two counts of trespassing and felony escape. So you can drop the crazy act, all right? Rex, man, give her a break. Got anything to say for yourself? No? That's what I thought. We'll figure out what to do with you at the station. Why does this keep happening to Joy, me? Joy, tell him what we found. They need to know it all. You gotta find a way to convince him. Where are you going? The killer left a clue about the ancient mansion we saw at the museum. Tell Rex about that too. It's probably the killer's place. Okay, I'll try. I always heard this place was such an interesting museum back in its heyday. Now it's just a place propped up by rusty nails and rumors. A place you wouldn't dare your worst enemy to go into. isn't so abandoned after all. I hate it when I'm right. This one's just been done. The witch who flew from her own mother, herself a witch, herself in flight. She'll meet her death like so many other and leave both realms this very night. Oh no, that's about joy. This looks like the Bell Killer's war room. I should check this all out. A 
Oh my god, Baxter? I should have been the one that stopped you. Ronan? What the hell is going on? You sick bastard. Why'd you do it? Why'd you bring back the witch trials and kill all those innocent girls? You think I'm the bell killer? Are you, are you insane? I've never killed anyone. You gotta help me. What is this place? We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. All of a sudden, we're buds. Uh, uh, uh. You need to tell me what's going on. What were you doing here? Following a lead. I never dropped the case. Had this psychic, Cassandra, working with me. And we figured out the bell killer is hunting mediums. Like a witch trial execution copycat. At that point, we couldn't let it go. Even after Rex demoted me. So that's why you're at the museum. You know where Cassandra is? Is she still alive? Last I checked, yeah. I took her to a safe house outside of town. Oh my god, she's alive. I was sure she'd be dead too. Joy would be freaking ecstatic. She shouldn't end up alone. So who killed you? The bell killer, you idiot. But I didn't get a good look at his face. Here's the killer. No idea. He could be anywhere. But when we fought, he said something I didn't understand at all. Wait, 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 wait. The killer actually talked? Not much. But I think I hit a nerve. I told that bastard he'd be dead soon. But he said, I already know death. And then something about his instrument of death will kill again tonight. My instrument of death? But he kills different ways every time. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Me neither. We gotta figure out what that means. Did Sandra ever bring up her daughter? Wouldn't shut up about her. We looked for Joy for days, but it was too risky. Cassandra has been begging me to track Joy down, but I haven't found her yet. You're not gonna believe this. Joy's been helping me tonight. <laughs> Figures a cop like you would need help to get this far. Uh, you mean like what, the help you got from her mom? All right, you get back to Cassandra. Make sure she's still safe and bring her back to the station. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna quickly check out the cellar and come up with a plan. I hope. But you know your guilt, and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. If it takes me to the ends of eternity, I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Why? The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down. death, where she was killed. The gallows at the museum. Hang on, kid. I'm on my way.
someone deserves to be murdered. And when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted. Joy! Ronan, help! Not another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there, let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> Put your hands up! Help! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up! Stop what you're doing. Do it now! Time is upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sins. This can't be happening. You want to use memories against me? You can play at that game. truth about your death, but I still don't know the truth about mine. Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, the most feared official in town. Of course I did. How could Rex have done it? Rose's killer had blue eyes. The same killer for every murder. Baxter, why did you kill Baxter? I eventually kill all the killers I use. Especially the ones who get close to the truth. I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? No. 
I wouldn't. No. No, no, I... I wouldn't. How could I? You made me kill her. We all got a dark side, sometimes obvious, sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But the law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> she might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. A kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. And committing a few small crimes searching for your mom? Well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. Mom! Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. But truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then can you move on. Ronan?